Some days I can't get out of my bed Some days I'm waking up on the wrong side of my head And I got all these eyes on me Staring at me through my screen Most nights I just can't wait to lie down So tired from my thoughts that keep on swirling around Medication used to help me Oh my the cold the code is not smiling with anybody. Hey! I just did school runs and I have a lot to do today. I have a lot of errands to run today. I don't know if it's blocking or I'm facing the sun. Oh um, this wig is doing the Lord's work. You guys remember this was the wig I I wore when I was coming to the UK and that was 2022. That's about two years ago. Almost two years. And I've been wearing the life out of this wig. Anywho, today is press press in 2024. If you don't know what pressing is, pressing is a program, um, it's, it's, it's a concert we're having in Swansea where like <clears throat> gospel artists in Nigeria, Dusine Yoko is coming, Victoria Renze, Bukola Beckis, a lot of like well-known um, Christian singers in Nigeria coming to Swansea today by 6 p.m. the concert is starting so it's like I'm really 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 excited I'm even I'm very happy I had to take time off work because I want to attend so that's why I'm not working today today is Friday I had to like nah I'm not gonna work because I have to attend this concert it's going to be amazing like I like worship concerts like if I'm going to church and I miss praise and worship that's the end like I don't enjoy the service so like praise and worship is like a big big part of my Sunday service experience you know so I'm so happy I don't know how they're even coming to Swansea to be honest but I know that it has a lot to do with my pastor Pastor Jeffrey <laughs> I attend the redeem, um, a redeemed church church here in Swansea and most of these artists coming are my pastor's friends and some of them have visited my church before so I know that he pulled the strings because Swansea is not like a very popular city like that so before you can choose to come to Swansea there, there has to be somebody calling you and um, yeah so I'm just really excited it's not just a reading program or it's like a concert it's called press in so it's everybody's invited white black purple pink everybody is invited and I've done my best to actually invite a lot of people as well and it's free to attend so it's really nice I'm happy so now I'm just going to go I have a lot of things to do today I'm grocery shop like every grocery shopping because I resume work back on Monday so I want to use this my Friday opportunity to shop tomorrow now I'll be tired because it's going to be from 6 p.m. to like 11 p.m. I'll come back I'll sleep I just don't want to do it tomorrow. So today is a perfect time. I just dropped Ori at school. I have about three hours. So I'm going to go to Tesco, shop my English stuff. I'm going to go to the African store as well, shop my Nigerian stuff. And I'm sure you guys have seen now that my mom, my mom sent me stuff. If I've not posted it before, I'll post it after this. My mom sent me things from Nigeria sorry i had to sneeze so i have like so many african things it's just like a few bits and pieces i need to pick up plantain vegetables and all i need to pick up today at the store i'll see if i can take you guys along if i can't i'll see you in my next clip that would be like press in when we get to the concert i'll vlog bits and pieces of anything that happens and yeah let's go on with this vlog i know you guys like yeah 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 let's go let's just go let's the code is coding let's just go let me start i haven't even started the camp okay hey hey john hey john, hey john. Okay. so hey you guys i just parked in tesco now I'm sure you guys can see my car it's down down there <laughs> uh, i'm going to the african store first i don't use the exotic and co anymore if you're in swansea i'm sure you guys will know i know a lot of swansea residents watch me so I don't use the um, the brothers and co any anymore. I might still have to go there today, but let's see. I use Tubo now. If you guys know Tubo, Tubo is a Nigerian man that delivers um, African food to us in Swansea. Before he used to like deliver with his boss to different people's houses. All you have to do is send him a message prior. He comes every is it Thursday morning or Friday morning? Friday morning, very early on Friday morning to deliver whatever you want to buy to you so but now he has a store he has finally opened his own store in Swansea here and it's very close to Tesco 
So what I do is once I want to shop, I make sure that I shop the same day. Once I park my car at Tesco, I trek to a shop very close by. Buy what I have to buy, put it in my car, then I don't go into Tesco to shop. If you guys understand what I mean, then lock my car. Hey, I fell. I'm sure I did. So yeah, I'm going now to shop from him. I want to buy like the Nigerian turkey. It's been a while I ate the Nigerian turkey. I think I'll try to buy like the carton. Carton is about 21 pounds or so. I'm going to buy the carton. I'm just going to buy a couple of things and I'll show you guys his new shop. So for you guys that don't know, he sells strictly Nigerian things. He's like a very, his own is Nigerian, African store. You know the other ones, they are Asian. So they sell like Indian, Caribbean. But this one is capitalizing on Nigerian because he's a Yoruba man. So he has everything that we need. Let's go to two bus shop. You guys, let's go. I'm going through the bus station. I'm going to walk through the bus station. It's very easy to locate the shop, to be honest. But it's not pay me for adverts. So I cannot be doing direction to the stop. <laughs> but let's go. The bus station is very empty this morning. You know? I think this is the time I'll be shopping because people are not so many. People are not so many outside. So I think I'll be coming to shop very early in the morning, not in the afternoon where everybody's outside. Right now it looks so calm. Okay, let me just show you. Like normally all these places you are seeing will be full filled up with people. But very, very few people this morning. Let's go guys. Let's go, let's go. I'm rushing because I have just about two hours before I get home so I can pick her. Oh my god. Let's paper. It's called classic African foods. Let's go stuff. This is Nigerian Tokyo. Hey, it's been ages since I ate Nigerian Tokyo like this. I'm happy. To eat the Nigerian turkey. <laughs> I have my list, so I'm just gonna bring down my list. How much is this one? Eight pounds. You will know what to pay by which one do you think is better? This one is already cut, eight pounds. But the pack is 20, 20 kilo, like, you know, 24, Abby. Mm, 24. Ha. 24, like, twenty five. Which one? You say 24 pounds now. Which one did you not say is 21 or something? No, 20. Yeah, which one is 20? Let me take a look at it. What is on Swift Court, Abby? No, I'm going to work on you. I'm going to see you later, no? Four for five pounds. Huh. It's a two ball. Okay, if he was here, I would have disturbed him. He's very lucky that he's not here. Marty disturbed all these prices I'm hearing. All these prices I am hearing. Mm -hmm. Ah, me resize the fish you. She'll let me move. So that we'll be friends. Oh. Are you always here? <laughs> Are you the new person here? Because last time I came, it was a man. Is he still working or he has left? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me. So I want that fish is done. Then I want Maggie. Prefer no chicken. <clears throat> one pack. Monit Korea time now. Do you have which one? Do you have Korean time? Which one is this one? All purpose season. One Korean. Oh, it's those two clothes. But later, no. It's too small. I want the bigger one. My way. I buy a bigger pack. This one is too small. So that's more to like this, don't finish. Okay, is this not chicken or not nari no? Okay, not chicken. Mm, what else do I want? I want plantain. Oh, my friend should know. They have, they have plugged me to another thing. Are you a carpenter? Yes, I am. They have plugged me. Oh. I'm always buying my tomato from Tesco. Mm -hmm. When you see this woman, she came to carry me and show me the way. Please, 
How to report somebody to you people? See this one. Don't run, no. Hey, don't even run. She be. I came myself to come and do my grocery shopping. I now met her. She now carried me to so I see market. She what? Moreru. My hand like this want to break. Hey. Eh? Oh, dude, they are very good deals. I won't even lie. I've not been wasting money on tomato in Tesco since. Very, very good deals, but my hand won't break. I'm not going to lie. So I'm, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm just going into Tesco now. Stop. She's running away. She doesn't want to picture. One eternity later. How does this cold feel? Does it feel nice? Does it feel okay? I'm trying to lock my door. You probably, this vlog is a chaotic one, but whatever. You guys are gonna watch it because you guys love me anyway. Oh, lock now. <laughs> okay, so before, before I didn't used to lock my door, I'll just go out and not lock my door. I'm like, ah, baby, I'm abroad, I'm abroad is safe. But I watch one woman's TikTok. Although it's not in Swansea anyway. The the crime rate in Swansea is very, 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 very low. But this woman, she was talking about it on TikTok. She said that she lives in Kent. Kent is like, you know, very close to London. She lives in Kent, United Kingdom. And she was saying that she went out for grocery shopping, just like I did. She locked her door and everything, but before she came back, she found out that somebody already broke into her house. Like they broke the black, the back, the backyard glass. They broke it and it turned into It's not even day, just one guy. The um, CCTV she has in her daughter's room was the one that caught the guy. You know, that a guy actually entered their house with a mask, looking for things, scouring for things and all. So that day, since then I watched that TikTok, I say, hey, look at they closed my door. Abroad or not, there are homeless people everywhere seeking for whom to divorce. Seeking for whose house to steal from. <laughs> so as I started locking my door, it's not allowed, just left it. Yeah, so I'll see you guys at the concert. I want to make effort today. I bought Nigerian turkey. So I'm gonna make turkey stew. I'm going to make basil fried rice and basil and prawn fried rice. It's going to be really really nice. Ah, I didn't buy chicken breast. I'll use prawn like that. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make a four. I'm going to make like three different soups today because I know that you know, maybe I can't make the three today. Tomorrow is Saturday. I can continue tomorrow because I know that I'm busy. I'll be working so much from... Okay, Saturday, I'm, I'm not working this weekend so I can cook the rest of this weekend. But I'll cook two soups today just to cook. So, since I'm, I'm feeling like energy burst some days i don't have this energy burst so let me use the energy burst well today yeah <laughs> this stress is for you oh. are you ready for the things i bought for you yeah. i bought you so many things chocolates yeah. a lot of things that you like i, got, got, I, got, got, got. I bought you juice I bought I you. Juice. I, juice. I know you I love juice. juice. Yeah. Juice. And I bought you that uh, that chocolate candy you were having yesterday. Oh. And I bought you your chips, the big size. Oh. Yes. We are ready now. I know it's dark, but we are ready. This is many, many hours later, you guys. I already, I already finished cooking. I don't know the doable. My husband is back from work. I picked him up at four o'clock from work. So everybody is refreshed. I had my bath, smelling like a bag of money. Put on my makeup on. Everything is just nice this evening, to be honest. I'm really excited for this um, for this concert. 
it's so nice i'm just so happy like my highlight is going to be victoria orenzi my husband loves victoria orenzi like crazy he's, he loves her eh? he's always playing her spontaneous songs my husband loves her so he's excited to see victoria orenzi me i'm excited to see Dunsi oyeko Dunsi oyeko is like my guy when it comes to christian songs so i'm excited to see minister Dunsi oyeko bukola becky's i love her too i've always listened to her because i am a chorister if you guys don't know i sing in church but not in church here in swansea but all my life i've always sung so i know bukola becky's because she's like the lead singer in the redeemed christian church of god yes babe yes sorry darling so this she's bukola becky's is like the head singer in the redeemed christian church of god and she has she she's she's full of the spirit that woman is full of the spirit so what is not talking your tab oh yeah bring it let me do it for you bring it oh okay it's not loud enough no, sorry, yeah, okay. yeah, take care. so yeah that's it that's the update now i'm i'm picking up my friend for love from my house because her husband is not around so i need to help her there and back because cab cab fee on weekends like this is always steep and i really understand so i'm just gonna pick her up and we're gonna have so much fun yeah i'll see you in the conference i'm, I'm not even sure i brush my hair properly <laughs> i was rushing because i was not rushing my husband but at the point oh uh, but you ate now you ate now you feel all right ah sorry sir so yeah we're going now and i'll take you guys along okay show you guys bits and pieces of the concert i'm gonna be connecting most of the time i'm there to worship my maker so i won't be vlogging everything but i'll vlog some you know exciting parts for you guys to see let's go Mwah. hello she's here i've picked her up yeah. that's gracie 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 so Fola is here now everybody's complete for the concert yes. i'm excited i'm super excited yeah. i'm really excited i'm telling you now like i'm really excited at least we've seen my people in swansea my nigerian people hey god <laughs> It means a lot. Like we have caused a buzz in this ones. We've caused a buzz. Everybody's asking. Even my my colleagues at work, Indians, they're asking me. Like they they be seeing posters. I say ah, it's a it's a big something. All the big big Nigerian Christian artists are coming. If you know what's good for you, make your way to Swansea Arena. All right. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be honest. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ah, we are creating the buzz. Of course, Nigerians have landed this one. You will know that we are here. Look at us. Look at our billboard. Look at our billboard. Creating balls. Press in 24. <laughs> oh my, we are creating a buzz. Let's pack. Cross, this is it. Swansea Arena. So we are all waiting. We are all waiting to cross. This is a billboard closer. So and we'll be getting out of the way but what I want to assure you is you are in for a time that you have never encountered before in your life All right. ah, tonight is going to be the beginning of the rest of your life yes in the name of Jesus amen let's do something quickly before we go hold your neighbor to the right and to the left there's a very lovely song that says hold somebody Together, together and praise the Lord. I love 
edition of Preston 2024. Somebody celebrate Jesus! Celebrate! Is that the best you can do for Jesus? Celebrate him! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You are your host for this evening and as it's already told you, it's going to be a wonderful time. My name is Lara or Lara, whichever one you like, but just know the name. If yes, you are from where I am from, from we call her Lara. Lara. <laughs> Now, very quickly, I have a gift for someone here tonight. If anybody can decode the meaning of Dre, you get 10 pounds. <laughs> I don't know, it, you have to be someone I've not seen before. I'll make sure there's no expo. There's no expo. If you can decode the meaning of Dre, you will get 10 pounds tonight. On me. On me. On me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know my full name, I don't have a gift for you. Because... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to move on very swiftly. Um, but we're just going to. Obviously, we know that the theme is light the fire again. So the only fire we're expecting is the fire of the what? The Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, oh. So if you see any physical fire, what do you do? Keep calm.
so cool. It didn't make any sense to me. I saved it on phones that probably have lost. I don't know where they are. And here we are today. So for me, it is a kind of small. It is not, I don't use the word deja vu, but you know, it is a Kairos moment that 17 years ago God had this Wednesday in mind. I know nothing. I only started reading about to find out that there was a revival here before in 1904 to 1905. No idea. I just had but the dream was clear and now it makes sense so that everyone from the first person that came up here to the last person that will come up is a chaos moment. What is dead is coming back to us. I didn't ask for anything to dream that dream. The Lord Jesus wanted to speak. It's not the first thing I did, is that when God wants to work, he would find a way to bring his will on the earth. And so, everyone is a chaos moment for Swansea. And the voice of the bridegroom will be received again in Swansea and the brides will rise and say we are the ones and the voice of the brides and the bridegroom will go to the ends of the earth say at the Lord you might not look like it you might not feel like it you might not taste like it it might look nothing like it but the Lord Jesus has spoken and when he speaks it comes to pass. It needs people for what he says to come to pass. But if you refuse to enlist yourself, it will raise stones. His word was sorry. Come to pass. So press in. Should in case you don't know, I want to believe you have an idea that this is God for a channel to speak into Swati. So when you say
every prayer, every declaration is in God's plan. Because He showed it even when I knew nothing about Leah. So we are in a Kairos moment. Can we lift our hands? final review of the video so i'll do it now and then we can upload so yeah the um concert was amazing the concert was beautiful like i'm on my way out now so i just thought like i didn't do an outro so let me do an outro the concert was beautiful like gosh it was heavenly beautiful bukola beck is, is a woman that i've watched all my life you know if you're a chorister in redeem you should know bukola beck is. she was once like the lead singer of the entire redeem project of god she's an amazing singer an anointed singer yeah my my cab is here anointed singer i ordered a cab i'm going out so yeah it was a beautiful beautiful concert and Ah, I had fun. I hope they keep bringing that type of concert to Swansea every every year, to be honest. But I don't think that is really possible. But yeah, it was a lovely one. Victoria Renzi also came with fire. I'm sure you guys have watched it and you guys understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'll call you back. I say I'll call you back. My cab is here. <laughs>